Out of the multitude of videos that we've produced over here at ProSue Tech, we've never really produced something that I would consider negative. Sure, we may have given a certain product some flack for some oddball business practices, but we've never outright made a video just harping on something. And in the interest of trying to keep that streak of relative positivity, we're gonna try to discuss what NVIDIA could do to make the upcoming GTX 1650 Ti a better value for the end consumer. So without trying to sound overly negative, let's get into this. Okay, so for some context, the GTX 1650 Ti hasn't been announced as of the recording of this video in mid-May 2019. I'm mainly just going off leaks from sites such as Tech Power Up and Notebook Check, as the information they've leaked to us in the past has proven to be incredibly accurate in terms of specs and pricing. So when the GTX 1650 released back in late April, it was received rather lukewarmly to say the least, with plenty of different outlets coming to the conclusion that it wasn't all that great of a card. For its price, many thought that it could've and should've offered more performance to give itself a competitive edge over the previous generation 1050 Ti. In my personal opinion, it's an alright budget focused card, but I will admit that its price is a little high and doesn't leave many Nvidia loving gamers with a compelling low price offering, and that's coming from someone who is admittedly an Nvidia fanboy. So when the leaks of the 1650 Ti started surfacing about a week or two ago, I initially didn't really think much of it, but since then we've gotten leaked specs and pricing, and it's honestly left me scratching my head. For $200, the GTX 1650 Ti is leaked to be sporting 1024 CUDA cores with 4 gigs of GDDR5. Other specs aren't actually all that bad, and all signs are pointing to this card being a relatively capable 1080p focused card. But that price point, uh, yeah, $200 is incredibly close to the price point of the 1660, which actually offers a significant jump in performance over the 1650. And based on what information we've gotten, this card has a theoretical level of performance that puts it on par with the RX 570. But once again, at $200, this Nvidia card is cut out from the market by the much cheaper RX 570 and even the 1060 killing RX 580. Based on that pricing, I just don't understand what Nvidia is trying to go for. If this card released back in early 2018, then it could have taken the market by storm. But in the years that NVIDIA has waited, AMD has swooped in and taken hold of the budget market. Now, I know that I've been sounding pretty negative, but let's go ahead and switch gears now and discuss some possible solutions to this issue. The first way that I can see NVIDIA correcting this is to simply cut the prices of the 1650 and subsequent 1650 Ti. In a world where the RX 570 exists, NVIDIA just isn't going to be able to outmatch AMD when it comes to the performance of their budget-focused cards. Instead, focusing on cutting prices is what could ultimately bring NVIDIA back into the conversation. If we look back to the release of Ryzen, the way that Intel competed was to drastically beef up their chips, which had an unfortunate side effect of slightly higher prices and kind of backfired on them. But I wouldn't be surprised if final chips of the 1650 Ti already exist meaning that the processing chip as a whole is probably finalized in one way or another. This means that the only way Nvidia can realistically compete is to release the 1650 Ti at a lower price and then cut the price of the 1650. If they really wanted to, they could possibly offer a beefier 1650 Ti Plus or whatever at a lower price to try and compete more directly with AMD. But at that point, they'd be cannibalizing their market and you might as well just go with the 1660. The second way that I could see Nvidia making the 1650 Ti a more compelling offer is to bundle the card with some other product to make it more enticing to budget gamers. If you look at what AMD is doing, you can get a game or two when you purchase a new RX 570 or 580, and that not only gives the card itself more value, but you also get new experiences that you can have on your new piece of hardware. Bundling the 1650 Ti with something, whether it's some other piece of hardware or software, would drastically improve the potential value to the customer, and as a result, make the Nvidia lineup a compelling and frankly more competitive option against AMD. At the end of the day, when it really comes down to it, I'm sure that this 1650 Ti is going to release in the near future, and I'm sure that this card is going to offer a decent amount of performance. But when looking at the big picture, there just doesn't seem to be room for this card in the current market. 
While I feel like this GPU has a ton of potential to become a killer piece of hardware, it's hard to ignore that high price tag and bring its value into contention. We'll ultimately have to wait and see what NVIDIA does about this, but I really hope they do something because I really don't want to see this card flop. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you'll be notified about all our future uploads. And also tell us, what do you think of the potential GTX 1650 Ti? Do you think that this card has a ton of potential, or do you think that it's got so many handicaps that it's going to have a tough time in the market? Tell us what you think. I can't wait to see what you have to say, and I hope you have a fantastic day. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.